Today, we're going to show you how we installed the vinyl flooring. We got the vinyl flooring and all the tools you see through Amazon. Now this tool is interesting. What's this called? Christian Frog Cutter. Right. It's really unique. You can check it out on the links below. This was our first, this was the first time I ever used this kind of flooring. I've always used the tiles or the vinyl tiles. Yeah, this thing cut really good actually. And right to the wall it was really, really, really good. Straight line. Yeah, a real straight cut. I could never get it straight like that. I'll have a zigzag. But I had to come back and cut the edges because crown molding sticking out, so you have to cut mm. around that. But edges doesn't cut with the cushion. Yeah, because it. you have the ground molding sitting out there, that's why. But it does cut a very straight line yes. without using a, um, a straight edge, you know, mm. a straight edge level or framing square or something. It was quite an ordeal, I'll tell you. It wasn't as easy as they make it look online. I mean, <laughs> they make it look simple, but mm. it wasn't. It wasn't as bad as ceramic tiles, you mm. know. I would say because that's even. Harder. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily harder, maybe equal. But the reason we picked this kind of flooring is because we're going to have dogs and they slip and slide. And if you have wood flooring down on the floor and they have accidents and you don't catch it in time, you're going to ruin your flooring. Mm. At least this, you know, it's water sealed, right? So <laughs> it's good. Mm. It's soft too. Yeah, I know you like it soft mm -hmm. on the floor, but I, I I still like the the tiles we got in America. The the this, I think they were some stain master or stain guard. I forgot the the make of it, but they were really good vinyl tiles that looked like real ceramic tiles, and you could grout them. They were nice. But this isn't bad looking either. And this is the front, the entrance in the foyer. Taking measurements and yeah. Second day, we have to, after cutting everything, we taped it down or glued it down. And here we're using the two sided, double sided tape. Yes. Yeah. It came with this floor. Yeah, this is the one that came with the floor, right? The little squares, right? We cut the force. Right. Yeah, we did all the corners, right? And some places where the two pieces meet. And then along the sliding door or any of the walkways, we put this tape, this, with this special adhesive mm. for vinyl flooring that yes. sticks it to the ground. It actually worked pretty good. But this part wasn't so bad. It wasn't as, you know, it got easier as we got going, but like the corners were always difficult, mm. especially where you have like three or four doors in one area. Right. Oh, that was hard. Cut all those pieces precisely. It's yeah. like a puzzle. It is like a puzzle for sure. And in this part, I'm going to glue down. And I put some carpet and it has some vinyl in the back of the carpet. I put that down on top of the wood because that has a track inside just to keep it nice and flat. Yeah, we used to have sliding door. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, because we're going to get rid of the sliding door for now. But this gives me the option I could always tear it back and then take that off because mm. it's only stapled in. And then, you know, I could go back to it to Tommy style room because we're going to put a carpet room on carpet right. flooring down 
So if we ever want to go back to Tatami, we have that option we could, because I'm keeping mm. the doors anyway, so it's in storage. So we can always keep that option, you know, right. if we really want some privacy or something. It's nice to have some door, sometimes. But sometimes, but you know, we wanted a nice open area, mm. because to have your living room is going to be in here and it's going to be carpeted and you have the kitchen dining area there so okay it's a really big dining area it is yeah i don't think we have so many furniture to put in the yeah, well we don't have a long dining room have more space you know it's okay you know we might make some more cooking videos so that was the whole idea of that room to shoot some videos in there mm. of us cooking food and desserts, you know. So maybe in the future, I'm down the road next year sometime, I might either get a pizza oven or build a pizza oven in the back. Mm. Make some pizza. And then here we have some more glue. And this is newspaper that's been cut up, Japanese newspaper. And you're going to make a template, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, I couldn't fit in here so well. Oh, this toilet room was really narrow. <laughs> I will hit my head. I know, and you're 5'2", right? Yes. And you weigh 90-something pounds. Uh, maybe 90. Yeah. I saw some uh, DIY channel on YouTube in Japanese. They are doing this. Do you remember the name of that channel? Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Right? I'm not sure. It's connected to a company, though, right? Yeah, some DIY company. Resta or something? Maybe Resta. Yeah. We can leave the link in the below. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, check that out. It actually worked. This worked pretty good, actually, because mm. then you just transferred this right on top and then cut a slit by the pipe and cut a slit in the back of the toilet. Yeah, you can just cut the sheet and that's where the seams are. All right. It's nice. So here you're cutting the, yeah, you're gonna cut the, the slit behind yeah. the pipe. So it doesn't tear the template. Yep. And also that's where you will slide the piece of vinyl. That's right. Wow. Yeah. This one the behind the tank. Yeah. Yeah, behind the one, well, not not the tank, behind the, the toilet. Behind the toilet. Yeah, the tank is the top part of the toilet. Oh, okay. The commode. Right. Behind the commode. <laughs> this is upside down, lady. Right. So you flip it upside down. Yeah. You flip the vinyl upside down as well. Right. Then you trace that on there and cut it out. So right. That was actually a pretty good idea. Mm. What was hard is I didn't film it, but like when I when I glued it down, the glue set so quick mm. that I could barely move it into place. So I ended up trimming a little bit. Right. Oh, uh, it was tough because I did that at, at at night, but we didn't film it, mm. and because it was really dark and you couldn't be in there because that glue was like really smelly. Mm. It smelled like well, yeah, you smelled a little bit of it when I was doing it in there, and it smelled like rotten eggs. You said or something. <laughs> methane. Yeah, methane. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, sulfur. You right. know, sulfor, yeah. sulfur. Yeah. Sulfur. Why did they say methane? I don't know why, but that's okay. I think it's sulfur. All right, sulfur. But yeah, the methane. They put the smell in the methane. Uh -huh. you know, right. That's okay. But yeah. Um, oh, I was going to say something, now I forgot. That's what we were talking about, gluing this down. Those seams. Oh, yeah, now I'm using the joint cock. Mm. Yeah. The joint cock actually worked good. You know, I used this other stuff that night that was, this took your head off. It was mm. like 100 times stronger than super glue. Right. And it made a really big mess on top of the thing. So I kind of preferred this joint cock stuff, which would be equivalent to like the company DAP. In the United States and it's a silicon mm -hmm. you know 
caulking, you know, and basically they come in all kinds of colors, black, gray, white, off-white, cream, you know, whatever, the clear, we have, we got a clear one too that I haven't used yet, but, mm. you know, if I don't use it, then we'll just send it back. <laughs> they have return policy too. Yeah. But anyways, I mean, I'm sure I'll be using it somewhere. And there's a lot of places outside I have to mm. see to fill, you know. That looks nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a big difference. You know, it looks really good. And it looks, looks like a brand new house. Like, you know, seriously. A little bit of paint. A little bit of elbow work. I mean, what was hard about doing this was all the junk. That was the worst. Okay? <laughs> yeah, first part. But the DIY stuff, I mean, it's it wasn't as bad as you might think. I mean, it's work, you know. Of course, there's some sweat involved. There's some, you know, trial and error as well. It's not as bad as you might think. I know it's not perfect, but I can live with it. So I can live with it. It's nice. I like it. So I think the house looks good and it's bright and it's open. And yeah, and the stairs and I'll get to the stairs shortly. I'm gonna re finish. That. I already started painting part of the stairs, but I'm gonna restain the tops. And there's the floor. And it looks. You did uh, around the. Yeah. Toilet bowl. Yep. Yeah. And then here is the carpet tiles. 200. Right. Tiles. Yeah, 200 tiles of yes. carpet. You know, what do you call it? Carpet tiles? Uh, we, say, um, right. we say tile carpet. Tile carpet. In katagana. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> the opposite. And this is going to be our bedroom. You know, this is up on the second floor. And mm -hmm. it's the master bedroom. We bought carpet for three rooms. Yes. And. This room, the office, and the, in the living, room. living room. Next to the, in the living room? Yes, living room. And this could be our bedroom, you know, and yeah, it looks pretty good. I didn't glue the carpet down just in case the dogs have an accident because you can actually wash these carpet tiles. Mm. So they say. I think it's probably better than, because here I don't see like Stanley steamers or anything like that where you can rent the steamer like you can in America mm. You know because otherwise I just glue it down and just rent a steamer every so often to clean the carpets But I don't see them here So I guess that's what you guys do just wash these little carpet tiles Right Or replace them because you can buy piece by piece again mm. I believe this color was called ivory yeah, but it doesn't look ivory, you know, it looks kind of yellowish. Mm. Unless it fades in time and turns ivory, that, that could be too. You know, because like the brown one we have here on the floor inside our place, mm. it was darker than it is now. Oh, really? Yeah. But darker right now? No, it was darker. Now oh, it was it, darker? It became lighter. I guess it's faded. Yeah, so it'll fade eventually and maybe it will become ivory <laughs> in a couple of years. <laughs> But I don't think it looks bad. I mean, you know, it's not, it's okay. You know, I don't think it's kind of bait, khaki, khaki, khaki. Yeah. And here is the stainless ugly unit from before in the kitchen, that commercial thing. And I had it outside and we finally got a scrap, two, the scrap guys to come and get it. And yeah, yeah, we had to pay to get rid of it. I think it was like, what, about a hundred bucks? Yes. Everything. Yeah, but they got rid of it. They took that big, heavy thing. Nobody wanted to take that. Some guy, what did one guy quote us? It was really insane. I Original. don't think we got any quote. Or the realtor said something. It was going to be expensive. I forgot what he said. He said something before. Maybe I'm mistaken. But anyways, we got rid of it and a bunch of other metal shelves because this cardboard has to go because of the code in Japan, because we want to put a double carport in the front, we can't have this. Plus, it's falling down already. So, as we explained in the scaffolding part of the video from before. 
So we're just gonna have the whole carport removed. So we got these guys to get rid of this, and then we're gonna have the carport removed. And it's gonna be all open. And here is the carport being removed. You got here a little late, so we missed the first part. Right. So now they're just taking the, the big heavy beams out. These are steel beams. I mean, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have any tools that could do that. You know. Are they using tools? Yeah, I would imagine, or some kind of cutter, angle grinder. Oh yeah, maybe. Grind or something. Yeah, yeah, I think some kind of angle grind. Yeah, I mean, you know, some of it was bolted into the ground, but then two of them were like cemented into the ground. And they were like heavy steel. I know that. I mean, you can see that. <laughs> and then they got rid of this you know, for us, too. Yeah. Next month, we should be having a carport being put in, brand new. We're not going to do it. We're going to have, we got to have permits and have professional people come do it. That's mm. the code here in Japan now. Next month. Yeah, next month. So that'll be good. We're hammering the concrete. Yep. Yeah. yeah, they have to. They have to. It's the last piece. That thing's heavy. Oh, man. Could you imagine if I did that myself? <laughs> oh, I would have got hurt. I think so. Yeah, there's no way. Mm. There's no way. I would have. I don't. Five people doing it. Yeah, yeah, five little guys that are used to doing this, you know? Right. I'm not big, but I'm not little, but, you know, still, I'm not. I don't do this on a daily basis. I sit my, my, my tushy in a chair all day and teach English. <laughs> Looks really open now. Yeah. I'm eventually I'm just gonna build a fence, you know, where the house line starts. I'm gonna build a fence. And then you'll have this whole area for the dogs and you know, maybe I'll put like I said, the barbecue and the pizza oven back here. I might cobblestone this. I haven't decided that point yet. That might look nice. But that's that's gonna be later and if I do that it'll probably be after winter next uh, next year. In the weeks to follow, we're planning on shooting more videos, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram. Until next time, matane. Bye-bye.